quick disclaimer before we jump into this video. I don't know anything. This is just a made up scenario. We're having some fun here. None of this is fact. And this is going to be one of those videos where I say allegedly a lot. Hi, my name is Garrett. Welcome back to this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. You can follow me on Twitter at Yogurt, Y-O-O-G-R-T-T. -T. Let's talk about uh, Mr. Kid Leroy some more. I feel like, you know, ever since Sony decided to be a bunch of bitches with this copyright bullshit this year, on uh, there's a whole video on this channel if you want to go check out my problem with Sony's copywriting of uh, various content on the YouTube platform, um, you could go ahead and do so. This has to do with Kid Leroy in the sense that his new album uh, just came out. Very cool. It's like, I need my bitch EP or something weird like that. The Kid Leroy, he's talented. He's young. He, 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 he rocks. But I think we need to take a look at this one track. Allegedly, uh, you know, in my opinion, has, has a few things going on that is a little weird when you look at uh, the people behind it. Uh, the, the video playing behind me right now is a song called Highway Road by Corbin and Bobby Raps. Bobby Raps and Corbin are uh, two of the most talented people I believe in the music industry in my full hearted opinion. They come from that SoundCloud era, you know, 2014 to 2016. They were very prevalent. In that time span, they did release a few tracks together as well as this EP, the Catch Potato EP, which I still stand as one of my favorite albums ever released period. Bobby Raps has gone on to release uh, albums such as Mark, as well as Weird Little World, which there is an album review on this channel if you want to go check out just how much I fucking love this album. This album is honestly uh, Weird Little World and Couch Potato. I put both those up there as probably my top 10 favorite albums ever made. Um, but Bobby Raps and Corbin, they, they had their little time with the labels, it seemed like. I think Bobby ended up getting signed to Republic. Um, but as far as them having like a lot of push by the label, there's not a lot of a lot of showing for me to these guys they're pretty pretty soft-spoken they're pretty subdued um, they're, they're not out there being flashy but the work and the consistency and the contribution that they still make to the rap game is is insane and I don't think a lot of people understand just how much goes on here just looking at Bobby Raps's uh, catalog uh, he, he's been writing and producing for some of the biggest names in the game on some of the biggest albums, not only from this year, but in, in the past. Uh, off Starboy, he made Sidewalks, which is The weekend, and uh, I believe, who, who the fuck else is on this song? Kendrick Lamar, oh, that's who. Uh, but he he's, has writing credits on that. Um, he made Met Gala with Gunna. Uh, he's written for Little Uzi Vert on Eternal Take. Um, some might remember the Hamburger Helper EP from way back in the day, that was all Bobby Raps. That's Bobby Raps' voice and writing, so. Um, that's that's a fun another fun little fact little Dirk um, fuck bro it, it was Khalifa Nav and uh, the the Republic Records and XO um, you know ties make sense because they're under the same label so it makes sense that he would have ties to the weekend but another one is Future um, Xanax Damage has credits on that as well as um, this song off the Juice World and uh, Future Tape. Produced by Bobby Raps, and I believe he has writing credits as well on this thing. Yes, sir. Um, and this is kind of where it starts to get tied into Mr. The Kid Leroy. Now, The Kid Leroy, off his new project, um, Fuck Love, that's what it's called. Uh, he has this track called Not Fair. It's him and Corbin. And when I first saw that Corbin was on this album, I was like, what the fuck is going on? This is a little weird. Um, it, it, it's cool. I like it. But it is a little weird. It is a little weird. No one can deny that. Um, just not something that I would really, really, you know, pinpoint, if you will. But, um, you know, the song's really, really good. But I have no problem with it. But the minute I saw this, I was like, all right, there's something fishy here. Because that's just a weird, weird collaboration. And before we do that, I want to show you guys my favorite music video of the year so far, which is... Bobby Raps' music video for the song Believe the Lie, directed by Alex Howard. We're going to play a little bit of this. Trying not to fall in love, falling in the deep end. I don't know if I'm patient enough. Just don't tell me I like believing the lies. 
So it's a very like Blair Witch Project signs feel like these crazy, you know, alien like creatures is even a shot like which is probably the coolest shot of the whole year. This shot. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> so the whole basis of the music video is like this witchcraft, you know, aliens, uh, woods. He's running through the woods, that type of thing. You know, this this very, very eerie aesthetic. It's so fucking well done. And this is definitely my favorite track of the year so far, or at least favorite music video of the year. Without a doubt, please support Bobby Raps. Believe the lie. Go check that out. But what we're going to do is I'm going to mute this, and we're going to check out the Kid Leroy's music video for Not Fair with Corbin, directed by Alex Howard as well. And we're just going to kind of check some of this out. You see the creatures in the background. There's the woods. You know, I'm not saying this is the exact same music video. That's not the argument here. But we're going to take a look at what the Kid Leroy has said about the making of this music video. And we're, we're just going to we're just going to take it, take a take a take a cool, quick, quick, quick little look, quick little look at what this kid has to say. Um, you know, creatures all over the place. You got like fucking hands popping out and shit like it, there's a lot going on here. And it, again, it's shot differently, but there's a lot of the same imagery, um, you know, it's. It's very much in the same camp, and it's done by the same guy. And when you look at the writing credits on this song, you do see that not only Corbin is featured, but Bobby Rapp, you know, he's written on this thing, and I believe he's even on the, the production as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, produced by Khalid, Charlie Handsome, and Bobby Rapps. So... When you look at the context of the the lyrics and some of the shit that he's saying, the kid Leroy, you 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 start to be like, well, wait a minute, this is some heavy shit. This is some this is some heavy, heavy, heavy shit. Like the way you were talking about love, not only on the whole album, but like it it, it sounds like you're fucking thirty five and you're going through a divorce. Like it's very mature. It's very mature. And you know, hats off to him if this is this is all him. But let's see what he has to say. Bro, that sh it looks like the shit off of a goddamn The Quiet Place. Have you seen that movie? The Quiet Place? I, yeah, there's a movie don't, called. Don't kill me, but no, I, I don't think I have. Oh my god, what do you watch, bro? Uh, I don't know if I'll talk about that. Okay, where'd you get inspiration from this music video? Cause what what is going this on? Music, uh, my mind. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So his inspiration is from his mind. And and Dante almost gives him the out of like, hey, have you seen this movie? It's very similar to this movie. And all this kid has to say is, yeah, I've seen this movie. Or like, or, or and he's like, no, no. And then he's like, what do you watch? And he's like, uh, let's not talk about that. Like, I'm not, like, it just came across to me. Like, it was so like, un, uninspired. And this is such a deep, deep concept and a fire fire music video and the kid Leroy is almost acting like it's just it's just nothing it's just from his brain and your body it look like you, you fell on a tree you got blood leaking from your hand you're dead oh, and you just yeah, yeah. I'm dead I'm dead yeah I, in that scene I'm actually dead and I, we actually find like our own bodies in the woods I don't know if you caught that you find... are you up to wait so you're wait. already You've been dead since the start of the video. Basically, this is what the labels want you to think. They want you to think that the Kid Leroy is 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 this deep, very ahead of his time. He is he is a a, a savant in music making and concepts. It's all in his head. It's all going on. But in reality, allegedly. What I would suppose is that it's it's a lot more straightforward and there's a lot of hands in the kitchen right here. And the ties from the label and the ties from just the industry, the picture that they paint is not the actual product being shown and there is nothing wrong with that. But what I would suffice based on looking at songs off of Weird Little World or just the whole Couch Potato EP or, uh, you know, there's so many examples of Corbin and Bobby Raps making a song that sounds just like Not Fair. 
and Not Fair is a fucking fantastic track. There's no denying that. There's no taking away from it. But what I would suffice is that Bobby Raps and Corbin have a song called Not Fair that sounds exactly like this. And what it was done is it was sold, allegedly, to a label that the Kid Leroy is a part of. And then placing the Kid Leroy, allegedly, where Bobby Raps would be. Keeping Corbin on the track, allegedly. And then putting it out on his own album as his own. And then shooting a music video, which is directly inspired by another music video by the same people, allegedly. But it all comes from his head when you hear him talk about it. It's just don't don't believe the stories. Don't believe the narrative. Because behind every single song is a thousand people who are a thousand times more talented most of the time in front of the camera. And that's the funniest thing to me. So I just had to point that out because it was it was interesting. And uh, allegedly, this is all in my head. How cool would that be if that's really how it was, right, guys? If that was really the truth, how cool would that be? That's some cool fan fiction that I wrote just now, huh? Haha. <laughs> yes, sir. Before we go, let's check out uh, Bobby Raps and Corbin's Twitter because I think you guys should all go follow those at Bobby Raps um, on Twitter as well as on Instagram. And then Corbin's is a little different. It's Dr. Underscore Stink on Instagram as well as Spooky Black on Twitter. Um, do not sleep. Go listen to all of their music because it is worth the time if you even enjoyed this not fair song uh, a little bit there's so much <laughs> that you don't know i bet in the background with bobby raps and uh, corbin so if you like the kid Leroy and corbin you'll love bobby raps and corbin is what i'm getting at allegedly no no factual evidence here not a single piece do not do not believe me do not come after me i'm just a nice guy who likes to make conspiracy theories do not. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. I really do appreciate it. You can follow me on Twitter at Yogurt, Y-O-G-R-T-T, -T, Instagram as well. Now notation on those two platforms as well, as well. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And that is all, you beautiful folks.